Hello, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jolie, and I'll be reading from this series is a little time for myself. A little time for myself. I always sound like I'm asking a question. I think that's why I didn't get to, to be able to do the yoga um, instruction. Oh, one of my cats walked by. All right, so anyway, I'm excited to read because I need it. And this is the only way that I can get my butt to sit in the chair and to actually read my recovery material so that I can find some type of baseline. All right, so uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and say the serenity prayer just to start. Take a nice deep breath in and out. There's Luigi cat back there. God grant us serenity to accept things that we can't change, to have courage to change things we can and wisdom to know the difference. All right, one day at a time, right? All right, so let's see what we got. I never read it unless I have to, um, unless the video doesn't work which has only happened a couple times uh, lately. So I've been diligent to do the best I can <laughs> to make sure that it's off the cuff and first hand. All right, so page 241, if you're following along. And here we go. August 28th. I was 12 when I started going to Alatini. By age 22, I began regularly attending Al-Anon. At 25, I became an Al-Anon member involved in Alateen service. The first time I walked into an Alateen meeting as um, a service member, I felt a wave of emotions, happiness, fear, gratitude, and nostalgia. A lot of mixed, a lot of mixed, feelings. I saw myself in every one of those teens. As an Alateen group sponsor, I get to give back to the program that saved me as a teenager. I get to learn from a room full of beautiful individuals who so they hold so much wisdom. They show me bits of myself and what it means to persevere, to have community, and to love unconditionally. So once again, Alateen has saved me. So today's reminder, when I participate in service, I inevitably get far more than I can give. So I know how much um, I helped the Alateens, but like, I don't know how much I helped them, but I know how much they helped me. And that's from Hope for Today. So Hope for Today is one of the books that I do read on this channel. And that's all the books are in the description. I've listed them in the description below so that um, if you'd like to add to your readings um, or listenings, I would say this is more of a listening channel but um, I invite you to read along if you have the books. Um, I started this channel so that I would read, like I said in the beginning, but also so that I can also have this to listen to at any time. Like when I'm cooking, when I'm driving home from work, when I'm driving to work, when I wake up, I always listen to it when I wake up. Uh, before I go to work so that, or if I'm not going to work, I still listen to it because it, it kind of sets me at a baseline like the serenity prayer that I also say in the morning and at night, just so that I can make sure that I connect humbly to a power greater than myself to like set an intention and ground me the best I can. As you can see, it's a pretty ungrounded background. And um, this is my studio. And uh, 
I'm grateful that you're here with me. So, all right. So the question of the day, and I'll post that also, and I'm asking anybody to share their thoughts as well. In what ways, this is the question, you ready? Again, in what ways does giving back to someone, to anybody, like at work, giving back to the program even, help me thrive rather than just survive? There's a difference, right? Thriving versus surviving. Surviving to me feels like I'm dragging my ass, dragging it here. Like, I guess that's what I talked about. Like I'm surviving by getting my ass to this book and reading, surviving. Now thriving is, yeah, thriving is having gratitude and having energy, a little more energy than I have, right? So I'm telling on myself and I am excited because I found a meeting that's local here. I connected with somebody from work and um, actually a, a guest, a customer. And um, I had helped her with some things uh, in the store, right? And she came in one day and, and um, I helped her because she said, you know, the thing that she had bought was over her budget and she really wanted it, but she just really didn't feel right to have, it, you know, to buy this right now because she's, um, she's helping to fund her grandchild's college. So I returned the item and afterwards she was like, thank you so much for doing this. And I, I kind of got a vibe that she was like, you know, because she's help, she's a helper that I'm like, would you like to like maybe meet for coffee one day? And so she's like, really? Okay. So I'm like, well, just here's my number. And, you know, maybe we can meet for coffee just because I'm here all the time at work. Maybe you can come to the mall one day and I can like, we'll go, you'll get me out so that I can go have coffee with somebody. And, you know, I really like connecting with you. And she, so her and I had coffee one day, it was like a week later or two or something like that. We just set a date to do it. And then she came and, and she's like, I hope this isn't a bad time. I'm like, no, I've, I'm, I'm all here. I'm here for you. I'm here for me. We're going to just like, you know, have some time to sit down and, you know, just be, you know, two people that can um, connect somehow. So I don't know how it came up, but of course I started talking about um, my life a little bit and she was talking about her life a little bit. And then it's, she, um, we connected with some point like, um, you know, she was telling me about her, her, her daughter who, you know, had some issues with drugs and alcohol. And I thought, oh, maybe she knows an Al-Anon meeting. So I'm like, well, I've had that in my life too. And I've been looking for meetings around here. Have you ever gone to Al-Anon? And she's like, yes, but I don't go anymore because I don't need to anymore. And I thought, well, what I learned is that I know I need it no matter if the alcoholic or addict is still using or not, because it's still affecting, it still has affected my life. And I want to be around people who can share their experience, strength, and hope that are local. And then, you know, have like somewhat of a support group that I can look forward to going to. So um, we have a meeting that we're going to go to that she invited me to on Thursday night. So <sighs> I'm looking forward to it. Just a nice live meeting. And um, hopefully I'll get back in the swing of it too, with having meetings. Just with the schedule, it's all off. And then the people that I used to be in meetings with, like every time I have my very favorite meeting early in the morning on Tuesday morning, I'm already supposed to be at work and I'm like, 
Mm. Wow. Wow. So, um, I just have to readjust to what, um, my schedule will allow. All right. So anyhow, I love you guys and I will see you God willing tomorrow with another reading. I'd like to hear what comes up for you with this reading. If anything, um, share in the comments, please like, and subscribe if you haven't already. And welcome to the new subscribers and the people who've joined. Thank you. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. And for those of you who have continued to come back. Hello. I love you too. All right. We're not alone. And we'll just read. All right. Love you. Mm -hmm.